We are the Fights, a traveling family of four in our dog Beirut. We live in our van Edison that we self-converted into a tiny home on wheels and have been full-time van lifers since 2017. Our job as experiential marketing tour managers puts us on the road and we're currently on tour with the brand Hydrofacial, which puts Mars in charge of driving this amazing glass box truck. This tour put us in seven different cities and we just made it to our last stop, Dallas, Texas. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a comment to say hello. We made it to Dallas, Texas! Woohoo! We are going on a walk. Mars really wanted to practice his keyboard playing, so we headed over to the Trinity River. It's just outside of downtown. It's a beautiful night here, and we're gonna go on a little walk. You see trash in the water? So that's kind of what you get when you are outside of a big city. We really miss, you know, going to national parks and stuff, but you know, we're on the road right now, and the tours kind of decide where we go. And so we're in Dallas and the weather's, you know, great for van lifing right now. It's in like the 50s, which is pretty ideal for us. So although this looks like um, a great place to go on a long bike ride or run, and it has a beautiful view of downtown Dallas, there's like a porta potty in the lake and trash everywhere. And so, not really sure how I feel about it. What if these were real clouds a long time ago? Ruth is its name. These are stone cows. They are Me either. This is what happens when you live in a van. And you don't use your and seasonings enough. No, I use this plenty. It's just like the humidity in Texas. Oh, is that right? In Florida. Yes, look it. Is that right? Hold on. See, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, dear God. That's not good. <laughs> Lots of crap on our cameras. <laughs> Good morning. Mm. Uh, do you want to go to a coffee shop? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't eat it. <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> we are starting our week out right with a grocery store run to one of our favorite grocery stores, Sprouts. Got like 80 bucks worth of stuff. 
and it's so much stuff whereas like usually if we go to a restaurant it's like we spend fifty dollars and then it's one meal so I'm excited to be starting out the week right. This month, going into the holidays, we are gonna be eating out less, and we're just gonna kinda of kick in it more in the van for this month, which we're really excited about. Mars, about like once a month, gets into this really like, has to organize everything thing phase, so he is organizing our cabinet. It's pretty much like whenever you have this many people in a van, things find their way to all these little nooks and crannies that shouldn't be there. And then I finally say, you know what? Doing a deep clean and just kind of resetting everything. So judge me how you will, but I like a clean house. We also have way too many towels. towels. <laughs> like we could have a whole cabinet just for towels. I don't know how we have so many of these. This one's obviously in great condition. You know. How did that even happen? Must've been Atlas. Maybe. But anyway, this is our one cabinet for um, yeah. plates and bowls and cups. And it's like filled with towels. So figuring this out. Every meal you make. That was from my mom. Every bite you take. That's supposed to be I'll be watching groups. you. What do you think? What? What? I'm gonna get you, get you. Sexy boy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dolly. <laughs> Hello. So Mars recently broke our bottom. Oh, oh gosh, the electric bottom. Throwing the blame out there. Okay, I did. All right. So whenever I dump out the grinds, I can tap it. You know, I flip over and tap it, and uh, and I recently broke the the container for our four year running bottom little electric French press that we loved so much. Here it is. I'm not gonna lie, it only had three star reviews on Amazon. I don't five know stars. why. I because five you. stars from us, we've used this for four years, we've hung on to it. This cheap little old French press. We can't find one anywhere, so now we've resorted to this. Doing this? It's just, it's just so a way different. different, it's a way different process. But it will save power. That is kind of nice. Hmm. Should have opted for a bigger cup. Cheers to a new Cheers. coffee process. But it'll taste different too. Just realized he always gets more than me, so I'm feeling a little left behind. He's a hairy creature. You talk to us. Tell me what you want to tell me. Talk to us, Talk to us. No, not like that. No. No, you talk to us. Talk to us. Oh man, we got some animals in this place. Don't touch his foot. Don't do it. Yesterday, something really crazy happened. We were at a park, um, just a playground here in Dallas, and when we left, my body started, like my, my armpits were kind of itching, and then my stomach started itching, so I lifted up my shirt to look, and there were these little tiny red dots, and then I could see them growing, and I noticed they were just like hives starting to cover my body. Um, and then within five minutes, my whole body was covered except for my legs. Um, we went and got Benadryl, got some like cold rags and like put them on my skin. This morning I woke up and it was gone. It was like everything was fine again. But I still don't know exactly what caused the reaction. Um, I didn't really think I was allergic to anything, but I did get bit by a red ant. Like I had a little red ant bite my ankle when we were walking at the park. 
and then there was like a little bit of swelling where it bit but I mean all the rest of the hives were like from my upper thighs up like even my earlobes swelled up so it was really scary I currently don't have any insurance um, so I was really hoping I wouldn't need to go to the ER I was checking my breathing and my heart rate I'm putting this in this video because I don't know if anyone has seen anything like this before or has any advice on what to do like do i just go to an allergy testing place like maybe i should just blow it off but there's this part of me that doesn't want to blow it off um, in case it's something more serious that'll happen again i have heard that if you have a severe allergic reaction then every time that it happens it's even worse and i honestly don't know i think the only thing worse than last night would be for my throat to close up and me not be able to breathe. So I don't know if I need to go get like an EpiPen. Um, but anyway, it was really scary and I thought I'd mention it, you know, in case it happens again. Um, we obviously didn't film any of it because our minds were just totally wrapped into trying to figure out how to make it stop. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So prayers are appreciated and any advice is appreciated as well. This week we're going to do something a little bit special. We're going to go to a trolley and see different things around Dallas. Yeah, and Everly's going to be your tour guide. And my trolley. The McKinney Avenue trolley is a historic free trolley connecting Dallas uptown and downtown. We jumped on in uptown and took it all the way to our next stop. Clyde Warren Park bridges Uptown Dallas with Downtown. This five acre park is built over the Woodall Rogers Freeway and has a great mix of spaces, daily free activities, and even food trucks. The Dallas Museum of Art! It's among the 10 largest art museums in the country you can get lost in more than 24,000 works of art from around the world. And one of the best parts about it, it's free to the public. Pioneer Plaza! Right downtown in Dallas, you'll find three bronze cowboys leading a herd of steers. began when four businessmen wanted the city of Dallas to be known not only for its economic accomplishments, but also for the enduring heart of its citizens. This meditative urban garden sits 15 feet below ground level and expressions of Thanksgiving are found all around the square. The Chapel of Thanksgiving is the spiritual center of the square. The glory window contains one of the largest horizontally mounted stained glass windows in the world. Whenever you're feeling a little bit hungry, come to Trinity Groves. There's a plethora of options just across the river from downtown with food from across the globe. even vegan options, not to mention spacious, heated patios. When you're done with lunch, literally go right across the street and check out the old stomping grounds of some real Texas outlaws. This is the meeting place of Bonnie and Clyde! Slide, childhood, pull. If you're into music,
music, this is where you'll want to go. It's the live music capital of North Texas, as well as a hub for the performing arts from theater to comedy. JFK Memorial Plaza. JFK died just 200 yards from this site on November 22, 1963. The design is an empty tomb symbolizing Kennedy's free spirit. Each column ends in a light fixture. At night, the light creates the illusion that the structure is supported by light itself. The memorial stands as a tribute to the joy and excitement of JFK's life. This is a super cute area you shouldn't miss if you're in Dallas. It's full of cool shops where you can find gifts for everyone you love, and there's tons of fun murals as well as delicious places to eat. The Dallas Arboretum! This 66-acre botanical garden is one of the largest in the world, offering spectacular exhibits throughout the year. For 2020, this holiday is celebrated with an amazing display of the 12 days of Christmas, and even a Christmas village. I honestly couldn't believe this place was only 25 minutes from downtown Dallas. We felt like we got to experience Texas Hill Country without being too far from where Mars had to work. Now, are there any places that we missed? Make sure to tell us in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Sending you all the love and light. Thanks again for watching.